So I've been on quite a few school trips, you know, those trips where you get to go to some place for a few hours and you go back to school. Well, there's this one school trip that didn't follow that norm at all. That's because the school trip was five days long and I've never had a school trip that long before. So when it came time to actually going, I was quite nervous, quite anxious, but yet really excited. So, you know, I just hop onto the bus with all the other kids and we went out to go on our five day trip and it was a long bus drive. Like I've never been on a bus drive that long before. Before, which I guess kind of makes sense because it's a long trip just in general. We're going to be there for five days. It's probably going to be farther away than most school trips would be. So once we actually get there, everybody files out of the bus and immediately get excited. It's like, oh, look, look, look at this. It's amazing. Look. And why are they getting all excited? Why? Why? Because there's snow. And they're like, oh, let's play in the snow. We got to build a snowman. We can have snowball fights. We got to do stuff with snow. You could probably guess I grew up somewhere where there was just no snow. Anyway, so once we get there and we get over our excitement over the snow, we kind of get settled in and we go to these cabin-like things. So once we go into our cabins, get all settled, we go into like this gym-like area and it's there that we get grouped up into different groups. Like we get numbered off and we get grouped up. And each group has like some sort of adult leaders is like in charge of all the kids. Anyway, so I got grouped up with a whole bunch of other kids. Anyway, so we get grouped up and we're in our groups. And once we're in our groups, we get to do some of the activities. And a lot of the activities were quite fun. And we did this through a span of days. Like we did multiple hikes, which the hikes were pretty fun. I mean, kind of tiring because we went on so many of them and some were really long, but it was still fun to get to see some new sights and just be in the environment. It was just interesting and fun, especially with the snow. The snow was great. Did I mention that I didn't grow up in a place with snow? Yeah, the snow was great. Anyway, so another activity we did was we got to go into this room that was filled with different kinds of animals and it was really fun because we got to go and pet the animals and see them and see what they kind of like to do and just be friendly with the animals. It was just great. And one of the animals that I really liked to go and visit was a small group of rats. Yeah, I hanged out with the rats. It was fun. Nobody else really wanted to be with the rats, anybody in my group anyway. I'm guessing a couple of other kids from another group did, but nobody else wanted to be near the rats. And I don't know, I thought it was kind of funny. I'm like, hey, I'm over here playing with the rats and everybody's looking at me like, ew, what's wrong with you? That's gross. I'm like, what? What's wrong with them? This one's got red eyes. So another activity we did was dyeing shirts, but more like dyeing a certain pattern onto them. So you get a shirt, then you put it on this board, and you get this design, and you kind of rub the paint over it so the design would go onto the shirt. And what was really interesting about this is that the leader actually painted a kid's shirt while he was wearing it. So this kid laid down onto this table, and he's wearing the shirt, and he, the teacher puts a board underneath his shirt. So the board is between his shirt and the kid's stomach, and he paints the shirt as it's on the kid's chest, which was odd, but yet somehow so interesting and cool. Like, whoa, he's painting the shirt while the kid's wearing it. What? Yeah, it probably seems like nothing now, but you know, it was, it was interesting then. Anyway, another activity we did was this sort of singing and acting, and it was kind of like a play, I guess, but then not really. It was more like a skit because it was so short. Anyway, so one night I had to do singing, and that one was pretty easy because I just went up with a big group, and we all were really just sang, I'm a little teapot. So that one was pretty easy. That wasn't difficult at all. Now the acting part, that was kind of difficult because the acting was all on us. Like, we had to make up the story and how we're going to act it out. Like, it was all in the kids, like no adults were helping us. And my group of five, we did not know what to do at all. As the other kids are acting out their skits and we were about to go up, that's when we came up with our idea. Really that second. Anyway, so we went up and we did our skit, which was something about electricity. So three people were standing out in the middle of the room and then two people were standing off to the sides. And one would act like they're plugging in two of them into this sort of socket, which is the middle person. And then the other person would unplug and it would go back and forth. And the entire time, the two people off to the sides would be moving and acting like they're moving whenever they're plugged in. They're mostly just kicking their legs because they don't know what else to do, which I was one of those. So I was just kicking my legs because I didn't know what to do. Anyway, so it ended with us being all uh, like, and, and that was it. It wasn't great. Nobody understood it. We didn't really understand it. Probably because we made it up that last second, but you know, not so great. And then there was other activities we did, though not so interesting, I guess. There was one time we went into the gym and we got to play games which I guess was kind of fun. Like there was bowling, there was bobbing for apples, but from the ceiling with some string instead of in a tub of water for some reason. And then there was a few other games, which I got to play, which was fun. 
Anyway, so in the cafeteria, there was this poster I saw in there that would show how you would feel each day you were there. And looking at this poster, I was just kind of thinking, no way. There's no way I could feel that way. This place is great. How can I not like this place after a few days? Oh, I felt every one of those emotions. I was getting homesick crazy. And I know that might seem like nothing. Five days, like, phew, that's five days. That's nothing. Yeah, but I was a kid and I've never been away from my family for that long. So I mistoned a lot started going crazy a bit on the fourth day and then i got to go home on the fifth day which was nice had a good time overall though had fun anyway that's it that's the end that's the story i hope you enjoyed bye